What does she look like? She looks like me. Like, same skin color, same, like, basically same face. Mm. Look just like me. I was living with her at first, but before she went to uh, jail, she gave myself to my father. So I've been staying here. I really love my mom, but he just bring me over here until she probably get out. I got my first child, and that was Isaiah Harris. Isaiah's not my child. He's a stepchild. It was kind of hard to cope with that. I didn't know how to raise a child because I wasn't a father. Didn't have no kids. <laughs> when Isaiah came into my life, I had to readjust myself. I had to think like a father. I didn't know what to do. I treated him like I treated myself. Fed him every day. Um, baby. I took on responsibilities that real father didn't want to take on. The mom, she was in and out. She was running the street, doing whatever she did in life that she thought was fun. She's a good mom, she, she loved her kids, but she wasn't in their life to the point where as though they never really saw her, she never really spent time with them. They never understood what a mom was. They never respected a woman. They never understood the concept of having a mother, parent, role model. So I had Dimitri, his birthday, December 11, 2004. Um, the mom wasn't there. I was working in and out of jobs, but I was still working. And then I had a third child, that's the son hers. I wasn't there for his birth. I was in jail, got in trouble with the law. That's when my mom was taking care of my kids because I wasn't there. I've been taking care of them since 06, and it was a learning experience. I didn't know what I was doing, I tell the truth. You're doing good, you're doing real good, keep going. I lived off of $500 a check a month, and I had my own food stamp. I lived off of $114 food stamp, I think it was. And as time went on, the father came home, and he stepped in the picture, and he started taking care of them. He didn't know nothing about them because he was gone, but we kept in contact with him. You know, he would send pictures of them. Of course, they love him, and they don't want him to go nowhere. Wherever he goes, they want to be with him. My daddy, my daddy. And it was a new environment because I wasn't around him for a while. So I had to readjust, recalculate how I'm being a father, how to take care of kids. We don't try to talk about it. We don't try to bring it up. Uh, when she calls, we let them, of course, speak to her. And she gives them her love and tell us, you know, to love them back. They do have stress on them because she's not here, she's not in their picture, but we don't bring her name up. We didn't really tell them where they were going and we was on the bus. They found out that she was in jail. They didn't understand it, so we didn't really go into it anymore. I couldn't even find the words to say it, you know, but I just told them that she was a very good girl and that she, you know, had to learn from her mistakes. And as time go on, if you don't want to be in that situation, you know, to get into trouble and you have to learn from your mistakes. And Dimitri, he didn't want to leave. 
Yeah, that was the worst part of it all. Dimitri didn't want to leave. I had to really hold Dimitri to let him know that everything was going to be okay. Whenever my mother talk about it, yeah, she's from the heart, but it hurts. It just hurts. I hope Miss Miss Harris come home. I hope she do good and she regain her her love back for her kids. Mommy, I hope you come before 2016, and we will be at the door when you come.